Welcome to another episode of Your Money Moment. I'm your host, Moritz Oberholzer, and today we are diving into the world of short-term insurance, helping you to understand the key terms and policy definitions that might leave you scratching your head. Short-term insurance protects your valuable possessions and yourself from unexpected events, so understanding what you're covered for is crucial. I'll be highlighting some definitions so that you understand your policy better. The first definition is indemnity. This one's just a fancy way of saying being made whole again. If your car gets stolen, the insurance company will reimburse you for the market value, essentially putting you back in the same financial position you you were in before the loss. It's important to remember insurance isn't about getting a windfall and getting rich. It's about getting back on your feet. Number two is excess. This is your contribution towards a claim. Think of it like a deductible. The higher the excess, the lower your possible premium or the monthly cost you pay. It's a balancing act. Choosing a high excess can save your money up front, but you'll need to cough up more cash if you need to make a claim. Number three is personal liability insurance. What that in essence is, is you're covered by your personal liability insurance up to a specific amount for unforeseen catastrophes that may deem you legally responsible. The personal legal liability is across all sections of cover taken. This covers your legal liability for accidental death, bodily injury or illness of any person, or accidental physical loss of or damage to tangible property of any person. In some instances, the cover will be worldwide. It may also include all costs and expenses incurred by the insurer, and costs and expenses you incur with the insurer's prior written approval. Number four is all risk cover. All risk insurance is another type of short term insurance that gives you extended cover for personal items that a policyholder may normally wear or take with him or her outside of the home. This could be for goods such as clothing, personal belongings, handbags, cell phones, cameras, laptops, bicycles and even jewelry. Some items of expensive value may need to be specified separately with your short term insurer that may be subject to evaluation certificate before it can be insured. As you have been covered against many different risks, this comprehensive insurance will provide you with financial peace of mind. Lastly, a big one is under insurance. This is a situation where your insured value, the amount your possessions are covered for, is less than the actual replacement value. The best way to explain this is with an example. So let's say Jack insures his total household contents for a sum insured of 750000 Jack has a burglary at home and 250000 worth of household contents was stolen. So on inspection by a qualified assessor, Jack's total household contents are actually valued at $1 million and not 750000 This means Jack is underinsured by 25%. So, what this means is, as Jack is 25% underinsured, 25% is then deducted from the 250000 that was stolen, that he is claiming for, and the resultant payout is then 187500 This leaves Jack having to cover the shortfall of 62500 Many clients do not understand under insurance. The main thing is why it is calculated as is is because you pay a lower premium for lower cover and hence they use that calculation to pay you out that lower amount that you insured so remember this is just the taste of the key terms in short-term insurance don't hesitate to chat to a qualified insurance advisor who can help you find the right policy for your needs and answer any questions you might have with a little knowledge you can navigate the world of short-term insurance with confidence When you're navigating through life's big events, like buying a home, starting a family, or approaching retirement, you need sound and impartial financial advice. Moritz Oberholzer, a financial advisor at Stonas Capital, specializes in personal financial planning. Visit moritzoberholzer.co.za or call 082-774-1996. For practical and easy to understand advice and tips, don't miss your money moment with Moritz Oberholzer, Thursday mornings at 10 on e-radio.